For the third time in just two months, the Detroit Police Department is dealing with the arrest of one of its own. This time, an off-duty officer was caught in a stolen Dodge Charger. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast is live with what police brass are saying about it tonight. Brett? Well, Carolyn, this officer had been with the department for about two years when he found himself inside this stolen Dodge Challenger fleeing from his co-workers. Appearing today in front of the Police Board of Commissioners, Chief James White presented a new risk management plan, promising transparency and accountability. We've got good officers, but, but certainly if we were only talking about good officers, we wouldn't be having this situation or this, this, this conversation. There has been some. Uh, that have fallen through the cracks. Also today, police say Chief White will be moving to suspend an officer without pay after that officer was found fleeing police in a stolen Dodge Challenger. There's no room on the department for conduct like this or for officers like this. Uh, the chief will be um, taking all of the necessary and appropriate actions to ensure that, that this doesn't happen again. The Challenger crashed while speeding from police on the west side. The off-duty officer, a patrolman on the east side, was a passenger in the car and took off on foot after the crash. So as the officers approached, they were able to uh, track one of the individuals into a backyard. Uh, at that point, they identified that individual uh, as an off-duty Detroit police officer. It's unclear if the off-duty officer was involved in the actual theft of the car, which was stolen from Ohio several months ago. However, fleeing from his colleagues could still land him in legal trouble. We will be presenting information to the prosecutor's office to seek formal criminal charges. And as of now, those charges have not been officially sent to the prosecutor just yet, and the department says they won't release the name of that officer until he's arraigned. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. I'm sure a lot more to come. Thank you so much, Brett, for your live report. Dave.